Hello, everybody. God bless you. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Hola a todos. Dios los bendiga. Este es el día que hizo el Señor. Regocijémonos y alegremonos. I have a good report. It rained this evening in Prescott Valley, Arizona. Tengo un buen reporte. Llovió esta tarde en Prescott Valley, Arizona. And it came down like very fast. Y cayó bien rápido. And we are thankful for all the rain that comes our way in Arizona. Hallelujah. We need to continue to pray for our uh, nation and for the leadership of our cities and, and uh, our governors in Jesus' name. And pray for our president as he lost his brother three days ago. And so there's a lot on that man's plate, lots of activities. I'm so excited to bring you this message today on miracles. Estoy emocionado en traerles este mensaje acerca de milagros. And today you can receive a miracle in your life. Y hoy tú puedes recibir un milagro en tu vida. Miracles are spiritually, miracles are physically, and miracles are emotionally. Los milagros son espirituales, son físicos y emocionales. Hello Liliana, God bless you. So I release the anointing to minister on miracles. Hallelujah. The Bible is filled with miracles. It is a supernatural manifestation of the power of Jesus Christ. The Bible talks about how the lepers were healed. And how the blind received sight. People were even healed long distance. Which means I have prayed over the phone for people and Jesus healed them on the other end. Hallelujah. And today, if you need a healing in your life, I release the power of God to you. The man that was paralyzed was healed in the name of Jesus. I was in Guadalajara, Mexico last year. And they brought this young lady into the meeting on a stretcher. And they told me that she had been in an accident and uh, she was paralyzed from her waist down. Hello, Mitch. And so we begin to get a word of knowledge. Así que empecé a recibir una palabra de sabiduría. And the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, there's a spirit of trauma that has come and uh, attached, uh, the spirit of trauma attached itself to this young girl. Y me dijo el Espíritu Santo, hay un espíritu de trauma que se que está actuando sobre esta jovencita. And so when I rebuked that spirit of trauma, this young girl was able to walk out of the meeting in the name of Jesus hallelujah and then people were healed by touching the hem of the garment of Jesus and so the anointing can come into clothing. And as they put that cloth on that sick person, they're healed. You see, the anointing is tangible. A deaf mute was healed in the Bible. 
And Jesus, Peter, got up, got upset and, 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 and cut the soldier's ear off. And Jesus healed the soldier's ears. Demons were cast out in the name of Jesus. I believe that many sicknesses is caused by the devil. And then we have to get a word of knowledge and rebuke that spirit in Jesus' name. I was preaching in Mexico several years ago. And while I'm preaching, a woman starts running towards my pulpit. And she hits right in front of the pulpit like an invisible wall and she falls down. That happened three times. But the third time, she was knocked down and she stayed down. And while I'm preaching, she's going through all kinds of uh, body reactions. And when I got done preaching, she stood up and I asked her, would you like to receive Jesus as your personal Savior? And she received Jesus and the baptism of the Holy Spirit. But later on, the people told me that she was a local witch. Hallelujah. And Jesus delivered her that night. So we have authority over the enemy. <clears throat> There are physical miracles, a substance, things that you need. Jesus, there was 5,000 people and Jesus uh, blessed some bread and some fish and a miracle took place. And so the Lord can do miracles even in the physical needs that you have. One day, uh, 50 years ago, I was driving my car and it just started shaking and it stopped. I lifted up the hood. I didn't have no money to call a, a mechanic. So I said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I rebuke you, devil. Get out of my car. I put the hood down, started the car, and drove. And that's happened to me twice. Jesus walked on the water. When you come in the name of Jesus, the elements have to listen to you. The power of Jesus can calm the storm. We were in Minnesota many years ago. And a tornado was coming towards us. Ramona points her finger at the tornado and said, In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you go away. And the storm dissipated. We were living in Wyoming. And a tornado was coming. And my wife rebuked it and said, you cannot touch our house. And when the tornado came to our house, it lifted up and went over the house and kept on going. 
la brincó y siguió su camino. Close to 50 houses were destroyed in that city. Más de 50 casas fueron destruidas en esa ciudad. That was a miracle of God. Pero ese fue un milagro de Dios. Jesus fills the nets full of fish. Jesús llenó las redes de pescado. And I speak to you today, those of you that are working, that God will fill your fish money in your nets. Y te hablo a ti que trabajas, que Dios llene esas redes de pescados de dinero. And then Peter was told that he owed some money, some taxes. Y a Pedro le dijeron que debía dinero, impuestos. And Jesus said to him, go fishing. Jesús le dijo, vete a pescar. And he went fishing and found gold in the fish's mouth. Y se fue a pescar y encontró oro en la boca del pescado. And Jesus turned the water into wine. También Jesús convirtió el agua en vino. I believe that God's trying to tell you something tonight. Yo creo que Dios te está tratando de decir algo esta noche. That God can heal and do a miracle in every area of our life. Y Dios puede sanar y hacer un milagro en cada área de nuestra vida. Several years ago, I prayed for a lady in Pennsylvania. Hace varios años, oré por una mujer en Pennsylvania. She was a single woman and some business people uh, took advantage of her. Era soltera y personas de negocio se aprovecharon de ella. And they stole money from her in a business deal. And thank God for the anointing that came upon me. Hallelujah. And I said, in the name of Jesus, I call forth justice for this woman. And that these people will return the money that they stole from her. Y que esta gente el que le robó. The next day at nine o'clock in the morning, el día a las de la mañana, they came and returned the money. Hallelujah. Y le el That's three years ago. Eso fue hace años. She lives alone. Vive sol. But she's still finding $100 bills in her house. Pero todavía se encuentra billetes de 100 en su casa. How? That's a miracle. Eso es un milagro. There was a man that we prayed for in Mexicali. Hubo un hombre por el que oramos en Mexicali. He had lost everything. Había perdido todo. And I gave him the word of the Lord that God was going to bless him. Y le di palabra del Señor de que Dios lo iba a bendecir. The next day he was walking in Mexicali and found $25 cash, USA money. El siguiente día iba caminando en Mexicali y se encontró 25 dólares americanos. And he got a job. Y recibió un trabajo. Got an apartment. Y un apartamento. And then three days later found 50 dollars just laying on the ground. Tres días después encontró otros 50 dólares americanos. That's a miracle of God's provision. Ese es un milagro de la provisión de Dios. Several about two years ago, I met this man in the grocery store. He was dying. He needed a liver. And so we began to pray that God would either heal his liver or give him a transplant. Así que empezamos a orar de que Dios sanara su vida o le diera un trasplante. And Jesus answered the prayer and gave him a transplant. Y Jesús le contestó la oración y le dio un trasplante. And he went from this to this. Y fue de esto a esto. These are the same people, same person. Esa es, esa es la misma persona. Jesus touched this man and healed him in the name of the Lord. And he's still healed today. I met this man in December of 2018. And this man was going to die. And they invited me into the hospital to pray. Me al para orar. Many other people were praying with me. 
Mucha otra gente está orando conmigo. And I looked at him and I said, oh my God, this man needs a miracle now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lo, lo, lo miré y dije, Dios mío, este hombre necesita un milagro ahora en el nombre de Jesús. I met his little boy in the waiting room at the hospital. Conocí a su pequeño hijo en la sala de espera del hospital. And faith began to come up on me. Y la fe vino sobre mí. And I whispered into the man's ear, you cannot die. You have a five-year-old boy that needs a daddy. Y le suspiré en el oído a este hombre y le dije, tú no te puedes morir. Tienes un niño de cinco años que necesita un papá. Now rise up in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ahora levántate en el nombre de Jesús de Nazaret. And within three months, he turned out to be like this. Y en tres meses, terminó estando así. From this, de esto, to this, a, esto. a miracle of God. Un de Dios. And dear friends, God is doing miracles today. Y amigo, Dios está haciendo milagros. The day of miracles is not over. Hallelujah. Glory. This is what I'm making a declaration to you in Jesus' name. That miracles will start happening at your church. Many times we think, well, we have to invite an evangelist to come to our church so we can he can pray for the people. Now I'm an evangelist. Hello. <laughs> And I believe that's a part of my ministry. But the most important thing that I want to see is that on a regular Sunday, the pastors pray for the people and they're healed in Jesus' name. That the deacons and the elders are praying for the sick and miracles are happening. I believe that's going to start happening in Jesus' name. Many years ago when I was introduced to the prophetic ministry, Bishop Bill Hammond said to me, Bill Hammond me dijo, and he said, at every service, pray for the sick. Cada servicio, ora por los and even if nothing happens, y aun si nada sucede, continue to believe God and continue to pray. Sigue en Dios y sigue and so I listened to the man of God. Así que yo escuché al hombre de Dios. And for months, not very much was happening in the healing. Y por meses no sucedía mucho. But as I continued to be faithful to God, Pero mientras seguía siendo fiel a Dios, we started to see the miracles happen. Empezamos a ver milagros suceder. And I'm saying to pastors and leaders in churches, What would happen if every Sunday morning miracles would happen in your church? Woo. You could not keep people away from your church. Because people need a miracle. And today in the name of Jesus... I release an anointing upon you that you will be a carrier of miracles. It's time for miracles to come into the church again. In the name of the Lord. When you see one person get healed, it affects a whole family and friends. Cuando miras a una persona ser sanada, afecta a toda la familia y los amigos. And then after the person is healed, you can say, how would you like to receive Jesus as your personal Savior? Los ser sanos, les puedes decir, quisiera recibir a Jesucristo como tu salvador personal. Yes. Sí. It is a great evangelistic tool. Es una herramienta grandiosa para evangelizar. So I encourage pastors and leaders tonight 
y yo animo a los pastores y líderes hoy that at every service begin to pray for the people que en cada servicio empiecen a orar por la gente and then you who attend the church and you have friends that are sick say come our pastor our leaders pray for people and Jesus heals them y tú que atendes a la iglesia los pastores los líderes oran por la gente I used to work as an ambulance worker as a volunteer in Minnesota. Every Monday was the day that I would be a volunteer. I trained to be an EMT. And in three years... I never saw a dead person on my uh, on my uh, schedule, my agenda. Y en tres años, nunca miré un muerto en mis horarios. I don't know what happened to them after I left them. No sé qué les sucedió después de haberlos dejado. But people would get so upset <clears throat> and they would say, am I going to die? Am I going to die? La gente se turbaba tanto y decía, me voy a morir, me voy a morir. And I would place my hand on her, on their shoulder. Y ponía mi mano sobre sus hombros. And I would say to them, y les decía, not on my shift. <laughs> no durante mi turno. Nobody dies on my shift. Nadie se muere durante mi turno. And in three years, I never saw a dead person on my shift. You see, I could go on that ambulance and say, in the name of Jesus, be healed. They would have fired me. But I could place my hand on them. And these hands have the healing power of Jesus Christ in them. I want to admonish you today. When you see a sick person, ask them if you can pray for them. And then you pray. And believe God for a miracle. I make a declaration into the atmosphere. Hallelujah. That hear the word of the Lord. You're going to start hearing about miracles happening on Sunday mornings in churches all across this nation. I declare that miracles are going to start happening in churches that don't even believe it. Yo creo que milagros empezarán a suceder en iglesias donde ni siquiera lo creen. Hear the word of the Lord. Escucha la palabra del Señor. There are people in churches that do not believe in miracles. Hay personas en iglesias que no creen en milagros. But there are people there in the congregation they believe in miracles. The pastor doesn't believe in miracles. But there are people in the congregation that believe in miracles. And they have been praying for a manifestation of healing in their church. And when people start getting healed at those churches... It is literally going to set that church on fire and pastors are going to be transformed. So what I'm declaring and decreeing that there will be an invasion of healing in churches. Healing is God's calling card. La sanidad es lo que Dios, con lo que Dios se identifica. Yes, in Jesus' name. En el nombre de Jesús. So you start practicing praying for people like I did, and God will honor you. Así que tú empiezas a practicar el orar por la gente como yo lo hice, y Dios te honrará. 
So healing is yours in Jesus' name. And if you need a healing in your body, just type it in and I'll go back and I'll look at it and I'll pray for you. Then I want you to share this with five people, please. Because I know there are people that you know who need a miracle. And I believe God with you in Jesus' name. Well, Ramona and I want to thank you for praying for us. Wow. And I want to thank you personally for those of you that have, uh, in, that have sold into our ministry financially. Thank you so very much. And if you've never sold into our ministry, pray about it and ask the Lord if he wants you to give to this ministry. And I, I bless you for considering giving towards this ministry today. And if you've just joined us, please listen from the beginning because healing is being released in Jesus' name. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.